Hi, Justin Chamnus here, realestatewholesalersclub.com. And I've got a question for you real quick. Have you ever experienced a moment in time when you knew deep down inside you were supposed to do something or not do something and you went ahead and did it anyway? I bet you have. Today we're going to talk about intuition and why it's so important. thing you want to do is live your life according to other people's ideas because that would mean ignoring your own ideas your own dreams and your own goals failing to express yourself in a real authentic way but listening to your intuition is not so easy this is because ever since you were just a little bitty baby all of your decisions have been influenced by those around you including your parents your friends co-workers teachers and others. No doubt your lifestyle is also a reflection of some of the influence these people have had on you. Perhaps some of these folks are encouraging you to just maintain the status quo. The idea is to stop doing what you feel like everyone thinks you should be doing and start doing exactly what your intuition tells you. Start doing what feels right to you. This means you're going to have to embrace the silence. The first thing you can do is begin to silence all the noise around you. Start scheduling regular time when you can be alone. This may be a small retreat for a few days, or it may be a little bit of time each and every day. This is time when you're turning off the television, the movies, the iPhone. That's right. I said the iPhone and the Android. It's time to be alone with your thoughts. Sit in silence. Now, Ask your inner self, the true you, what do I really want? What would I do if I didn't have to meet all of the expectations of everyone around me? What would my life be like if I didn't have to impress anyone? What would I do if I could start my life all over again? Now you're going to want to learn to trust this intuition. Start small. Start by making small inconsequential decisions based on your gut. If you don't feel like going to a party, don't go. You think someone is untrustworthy? Don't do business with them. Your gut tells you to go somewhere and do something? Do it. By practicing listening to your intuition, you'll get better at it. Also, pay very close attention to your emotions. If something makes complete sense to you rationally, but your emotions tell you that this doesn't feel right. Don't do it. Don't take the job. Don't get into that relationship or move to that other place. The fact is that this practice requires 100% honesty with yourself. Let go of your self-imposed limitations. Start to imagine that your biggest dreams are possible. Believe that you wouldn't even have these dreams if they weren't possible. And finally, trust yourself and do what feels right. Learn to listen to your intuition because this is the only way to live a fulfilled life. Here's an exercise for you. What's one time in your life that you did not listen to your intuition? What things can you do and how can you schedule alone time into your day in order to improve your listening to intuition? Tomorrow, I'm going to talk to you about deciding exactly who it is that you want to be. RealEstateWholesalersClub.com is here to help you do just that. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.